All right, it is experimentation time. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be doing an experiment with this Pilot Con 40. Now we all know that the Con 40 is a um, frustration to a lot of pin enthusiasts because of the hoops you have to go through, the difficulty sometimes of getting a full fill on this on this uh, converter and one of the one of the tricks too is that you have to remember not to if you fill this directly like with a syringe that you don't fill this void in here because this void because as you insert it into the um, into the grip section it fills up there and if you've already sucked some or already have some ink in there it's going to push that through and you make a mess so uh, typically you just want to come up through here but anyway you you have this little piece here which i think is a type of i don't know supposed to help the flow in some way the flow of the ink uh, as a friction mechanism uh, or whatnot and then you have these uh, BBs what I call BBs these little uh, metal pellets that uh, are supposed to keep the uh, again the ink from getting stuck way up here you know just keep it flowing <laughs> so anyway but it's a lot of stuff in this this uh, converter could be a little little frustrating. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this experiment. I'm going to see I've taken this. This is from my uh, 78 Pilot 78G plus, and I'm just going to do a fill on this. And what I'm going to do is like we typically would do with our to get a full fill is I'm going to take the plunger down all the way bring it uh, back up in a little bit and plunge it back down in to see, you know, if I could just, without having to take it up and do a lot of fancy stuff with this converter to get a full fill. All right, so I'm gonna be using, and then I, I have another part of the experiment that I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna be using Diamine Blaze Orange and this experiment so we are you know, the nib all the way in and down goes the plunger I don't know if you can see that real well and then we'll suck some up okay so that gets it just above that little line there where the grip section comes in all right so we're gonna go back down See if we can get a little bit more now that the grip or the uh, feed is all wet. We'll come back up. Okay, we've went back down. And we got a little bit more. Well, what if we go back down again? Okay, that's about all that we're going to get. So we have this, uh, the, the feed is saturated, but see we have this void in here um, and we're not crazy about that void so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna knock I'm gonna knock this this ink best I can okay I'm gonna take and I'm gonna put it what I have in here at this point in this vial I think okay so see where you you do have this ink still up here, but then you have this void and this ink down at at the bottom there. Okay, so I'm gonna empty this out. There's one last bit that just does not want to come out of this. All right. I think that's it. I mean, there's still a little bit of ink in there. It isn't much, but anyway, 
So there you have that much, that much ink. All right. So on to the next part of the experiment. Okay, so we are going to remove this, trying not to make a mess. All right, there was still a little drop in there, but let's, let's see if it really made any difference. Okay, this is the Con 40 without all the, th the little dealies in there. And with. And you really, you know, there doesn't seem to be a, be a difference. So some, somebody did an experiment with that and, uh, you know, it, like I said, it doesn't seem to be a difference. Now, what I'm here going to do is I'm just going to get a Schmidt converter and I'm going to see what that will do. As you can see, they're, they're about the same uh, same basic diameter. Now I know I'm not using a nib and all that, but you can still get the same kind of full fill. See with a regular converter, you're gonna you're not gonna have those that void in there. So I'm gonna set this here and get another vial. Got this vial, and we will see how much of a difference there is. This is Con B without, and the Con B with. And then this is just a regular standard international uh, converter. Uh, obviously, the amount is uh, noticeably more. The advantage, so what's the advantage that there may be between these two, taking, removing these uh, parts here, is that this is going to give you, removing the parts is going to just help I think the ink flow better. It's not going to get stuck on this, but you know that may may or not, may not be. I mean, you you're still gonna. I would still be pushing this uh, converter up to get the ink into this section here. So it probably doesn't matter. I I had just seen some place where somebody said, yeah, this take all those things out and it's going to make a difference. You're going to get a better fill and all that and I really don't see it giving you a better fill. Like I said, you know, if anything it just make flow better if you don't push the the plunger down if you like to keep it all the way back. But anyway, so that's uh that's that. That's the experiment. So if you ever wondered what it would be like taking all that stuff out of there, there you go. And uh pilot, I wish you uh would come up with a converter that had a little more uh, ink capacity. You know, Standard International wins the day on that one. Alrighty. Well, just for your information. Alright, thanks a lot. Uh, make sure you check out a couple other videos. Alright. <laughs> Alright, have a good one. Bye.